What's good YouTube, it's your boy Day and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to tell y'all the best DLCs to get in Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker for every class. So if you like this type of content, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's try to get 25 likes on this video if y'all want the best 9 DLC builds video and let's get started. <laughs> So first we're going to do the best attack DLCs to get. So first on the list is Minato. Now for the Minato DLC you get Flying Roger level 1. This jutsu basically makes you put a kunai on the ground and you can always teleport back to the kunai to get yourself out of situations. In my opinion it's very underrated. Next you get Flying Roger level 2. This jutsu basically throws a kunai at your opponent. Once the kunai hits your opponent you teleport above their head and hit them with a Rasengan. And last for the ult you get Flying Roger level 3. Now the ultimate is really the main reason you want to get this DLC is very good and it one shots your opponent most of the time this is probably top five best ultimates to use for attack next is Okage Naruto now this is a must get DLC for attack mains the first jutsu is Razen Rain Page that summons four Rasengans to hit your opponent this jutsu is bad in my opinion second jutsu is Kama Twin Impact now this jutsu is very good it can break water pillars sand shield and it does good damage this jutsu is very good for base battle and flat battle and last for the ultimate is Kurama Link Mode now this ultimate is probably the best ultimate for attacks if not top three it can heal you back to full hp you can move faster and with the second input you can shoot a blast for kurama head attack main so you need this dlc next is sisui now this is also a must get dlc for attack types first jutsu is halo dance now this jutsu is very good it recently got a buff so it's much better now than it was you also get a substitution with this dlc which is swift stuff and the second jutsu is obo now this jutsu used to be meta before it got nerfed but it's still a very good jutsu if you use flash medicine or teleportation jutsu with it you still got what obo was before it got patched so it's still a very good jutsu and the ultimate you get is koto now koto is good but you mainly want this dlc just for obo in my opinion next is kawaki now kawaki is probably top three best attack dlcs you get karma linchpin this jutsu basically absorbs most jutsus in the game and also makes you get your ultimate faster you also get another substitution which is emergency exit second jutsu is reverse scale now this jutsu is the main reason why you want to get this dlc it used to empty your opponent's substitution stock before it got nerfed now it doesn't allow them to sub for a while another reason is this jutsu has iframes you can literally use this jutsu to dodge most attacks in the game and for the ultimate you get real short destruction this ultimate is good but like i said you mainly want this dlc for reverse scale next is baryon mode naruto now this is also one of the best attack dlcs you get baryon bullet barrage which is a very good move and you also get a substitution with this dlc which is baryon breakthrough next you get baryon tail breaker which is pretty good as well and the ultimate you get baryon mode which is the main reason you want to get this dlc this ultimate is very good the only thing about it is that when you use it you lose some of your health so you have to use it quickly and that's it for the best attack dlc's now let's start with the best range dlc's for the first range dlc you want is moderate and you only want to get this dlc because of majestic destroyer flame this jutsu is very metal in this game literally the best jutsu to use for range i didn't ask is cool and heaven concealed is decent since it got buffed but not the best ultimate full range but this is a dlc you need to get next dlc is adult sasuke this dlc is very good because it's the only dlc that gives you three jutsus a first style flame lightning is a very good jutsu and it's also meta honest Shidori is decent and it does a lot of damage and heavenly hand power is very good as well and for the ultimate is very good as well definitely get this dlc next is haku now i only recommend this dlc if you are a pit player if you are a team player I say only get it for his ultimate. Haku DLC, you get Icicle Swallow, which is a very good one. One of my favorite juices for range. A thousand needles of death is a good move for combo builds. And Crystal Ice Mirrors is very good ultimate. This ultimate is basically you having three juices on. You can get this ultimate very fast. Next is Kakashi, my favorite character in the anime. For Kakashi, you get Kamri and Lightning Blade, which is very good. You can dodge juices just by using this move. And it also breaks Susano armor and other juices as well. Kamri Bond is decent. 
decent, but you really only want this DLC for the ult, in which is Kamri Shuriken. It's very good and one shots people if you actually hit someone. But definitely get this DLC. It is very good and I definitely recommend it. Next is Nagato. Now you only really want to get this DLC just for Chika Shoto. If you use Chika Shoto and Majestic together, you can make a one shot build with those two Jutsus alone. Shirado is very underrated Jutsu. You can make very good builds with this Jutsu. To me personally, this probably top 5 underrated Jutsus for range. And for the ultimate Geshu statue is decent. It just leaves you on 1 HP after you use it which makes it not really worth using. Next is Tamari. Now for Tamari, this is a DLC that I very recommend getting. This DLC is very good. You get Wind Scythe Jutsu which is meta now and it's very good and it does a lot of damage and it's pretty annoying. Blade Dance is decent. It does continuous damage over time and stops people from being healed and the ultimate Sea Dragon is meta. Probably top 5 ultimates for range. Definitely get this DLC. Next is Borashiki. I recommend getting this DLC. This DLC is probably top 3 DLCs for range. Everything you get from this DLC is very good. You get Flash Slice which is better than the other move you get from this DLC. Flash Slice literally can counter half of the Jutsus in this game which makes it very good to use. You also get Vanishing Rasengan. This is also very good but I feel like it's better if you have a combo to go with it. And the ultimate is Karma Awakening. This ultimate is basically Link Mode for range which makes it very good. Top 3 ultimates for range. You should definitely get this DLC. That's it for range DLCs. Now let's get into the best defense DLC. First is Overtow. Now this DLC is very good. You get your Chiha Flame Formation which protects you from getting hit once plus it gives you a defense boost and it's also meta to use. As well next you get Kamari Climax that did recently get buffed and now it's even better. If you use your Ninja Tool already all you gotta do is pop Kamari and you get your Ninja Tool back. This Jutsu is very good and the ult Bomb Blast Dance is cool but you only want to get this DLC for those two Jutsus. Next is Zabuza. You get Demon Hunter which is very good. It can also heal you if you land the first hit and it also gives you super armor. Next is Water Prison Jutsu. It's pretty good but I will only use this Jutsu for combos and the ultimate hidden miss Jutsu. This is the main reason you want to get this DLC. If you use this Jutsu it makes your opponents not able to use substitution and blinds them and it's very good to use to help your teammates out. Next is Karma Boruto. This DLC you get Boruto Stream which is good if you know how to use it. Next you get Thunderclap Arrow. This is another move that's good if you know how to use it. You mainly want to get this DLC for the ultimate Karma Lynchpin. This ult is very good for base battle. It's actually good in any game mode. This ultimate you absorb everyone's ult and Jutsus and you also recharge your ultimate as well while you're using it and you get a big defense and attack buff after you finish using the ultimate. I recommend this DLC really for the ultimate. Next is Shishiki. This DLC I very recommend getting. You get Shikuni Kona which is basically a shine gun for defense that does damage. You also get Karma which is good. This move also makes you faster as well. And for the ultimate Vast Dark Heavens, this ultimate is pretty good and bad at the same time. It's 50-50 in my opinion, but you should definitely get this DLC. Next is Reanimation Minato. Everything from this DLC is good. You get Celestial Air Slice Type 0, which is very good and does pretty good damage. Next you get Flying Rising Gani Thunder. This Jutsu will test you for getting hit by Kunai's and it also absorbs some Jutsus as well. And the ultimate is pretty good to use as well. It just takes a while before you actually do the ultimate to where someone could just really dodge it, but it's still pretty good to use. Now let's get into the best healer DLCs. First we got Sonata. You 100% need this DLC if you are a healer. First you get Heavenly Foot of Pain which does good damage and it also takes away your opponent's Jutsus. And you can use this to make one shot builds. Next is Nervous System Rusher. This is also a good Jutsu. It basically makes your opponent confused. You can use this for movement as well. And finally for the ultimate slug long distance healing. This is the main reason you want this DLC. You can heal everyone on your team without being near them. Plus you get it pretty fast as well. Next is mine. Now this whole DLC is really for base battle and flat battle. So you get water pillar which makes a pillar of water and knocks your opponents off the base so that you can secure a base. There are Jutsus that can counter water pillar. Next is lava style dissolving Jutsu. It's okay to use but it's not really good and the ultimate solid fall Jutsu is pretty good to use for base and flat as well. Next is Enoki. Now this DLC you get super weighted boulder Jutsu. This Jutsu pretty much slows down your opponent. Next is super light boulder Jutsu. Now this Jutsu is why you should get this DLC. It boosts your team speed and shortens your team's ninjutsu and substitution cooldown. And it also helps your team get their ultimates faster. And the ultimate atomic dismantling jutsu is good for combos. Next is reanimation Atachi. Now this DLC I very recommend getting. You get Sukiyomi which puts your opponents to sleep while stabbing them with swords. This jutsu is very good for combos. Next is Asaka Beast. This jutsu basically summons a Susano and fires off a Asaka Beast doing good damage. This jutsu did get nerfed but it's still a very good jutsu. And the ultimate 
ultimate is Tsunami. This ultimate puts your opponents to sleep, resetting their ninjutsu. And it can also revive your teammates, but you can't use your jutsus until it's over. And you also get an explosion clone substitution with this DLC. Next is Six Paths Madara. This DLC you need to get is very good. You get Sage Art Thunder Blast. This jutsu is very good. It does good damage if you charge it up all the way. And it can paralyze everyone around it, which makes it easier to do combos. Next is Limbo Boulder Jail. This basically summons four clones around you and they attack anyone that's near. Doing good damage. And the ultimate infinite Sukiyomi. This ultimate is very good. It basically stuns everyone and absorbs health, ninjutsu, and substitution cooldown from nearby enemies. Also decrease their ultimate gauge. This DLC is probably top three best healer DLCs. You should definitely get this DLC. And here's honorable mentions that I didn't put on my list of best DLCs. And that will be the end of this video. If there's any DLC that is not on this list but you're thinking about getting it, let me know in the comments and I'll give you my thoughts on it. I hope you all had enjoyed this video. This took a while to finish so I appreciate anyone who liked the video and subscribed as my goal is 1k by the end of this year. I hope you all have a blessed day and let me know what other types of videos y'all want to see next and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.